Hello everybody, I'm Misa Narrates. This is my digital space. I hope you enjoy. Now you're watching Tom and Jerry because I was a bit silly just like them. I forgot after I got all cute to do an intro. So watch Tom and Jerry go at it and be a little nonsense. You're going to watch me do my makeup today. It's a little bit of a tutorial. I hope you enjoy and you subscribe. So we're going to start with the face. Okay. Per usual, we're going to start with the face. I'm not changing up this routine. We're really focused on eyes. So we're going to zoom through this face. I've got a few things here and there that I do want to tell you about. But, you know, really, it's, it's what you've seen in previous videos. So there's that. Um, I've got my mirror in front of me, so you're going to see me look down quite a bit. I am starting with the Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer from Maybelline, as you see on the other side of the screen. You guys know I like this primer. It does what it says it does. It erases your pores, leaves you with a nice smooth finish. So something I usually don't do, and like a tip from Jackie Ina, is to set with powder. So I'm going to take a little bit of my translucent, translucent powder, I'm not even going to bother showing the package because it is so worn out, <laughs> the color is fading so much. I'm actually in the market for a new powder, new translucent powder, but for now this will work. I just dab on a little bit with a loose brush, not too much. Right. Then I like to go in and cover dark spots. I'm using a Smashbox concealer. Cover up dark spots, dark areas, and also underneath my eyes just so that I can get that highlighter to pop really. I also add some on my top lip. Blend it out with a moist sponge. The goal is just to get a nice base for the foundation when it finally does get onto my face. I should technically be using a color corrector, but this is red enough with it. This has a red enough undertone that I can get away with it. All right. And now I'm going to add my Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the color 425 Cam. What? Caramel. With a less damp sponge, now we blend. We're gonna highlight under the eyes with the Fenty Matchstick. Try not to put it everywhere. Just really localize it to right underneath. No need to put it all the way up here because you're gonna end up dragging it out anyway. I'm gonna let that concealer sit underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna take the espresso match stick and I'm gonna bring it slightly higher than I usually bring my concealer, bring my contour, sorry, because I want my face to look slim, okay? We're gonna add a little bit on the forehead, by the jawline, by the bridge of the nose as well. I'm gonna take a brush and buff that out. I'm gonna let this still sit and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use the Makeup Revolution eyebrow like pencil. It's got a spoolie at the end. It's very convenient. I appreciate it for that. Line underneath. My eyebrows need some TLC. Funny enough, I haven't had my eyebrows done professionally in the longest time. And that's probably because I get away with like finessing them <laughs> when I do my brow routine. But I think I'd like to get my eyebrows done. I actually think I'd like to get them microbladed. Something I'm considering. Now we're gonna blend out under here. 
and you see how it's it's moving but it's not moving a lot because it really doesn't need to I'm looking up so that I can try to prevent oh and now I'm making a face so that I can try to prevent creasing but I'm also low-key okay <laughs> don't mind the crease doesn't make me lose sleep we're gonna add a little bit more powder again not too much I don't really bake just set and it's gonna look powdery and like low-key dusty <laughs> but that's also okay because we'll revive it with setting setting spray when we're done I don't cut my crease underneath as much anymore. I still bronze and I don't contour with powder as much. I just bronze a lot. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty bronzer. Also something I forgot to do. Sometimes your nose stops your progress so you gotta move the nostril a little bit to get into that crease i took a selfie once and i remember like i saw it and I, like i said i don't like baking my intention is not to bake my intention is to catch all of the powder that's about to fall out um from my that's about to fall out from my eyes and that's because i'm using the hermosa yikes sorry the hermosa flor um cosmetics white lily palette you guys saw me use it in one of my uploads i will link it somewhere up here by the way have you subscribed have you done that um yeah this palette has a lot of fallout it also has a lot of kickback and i'm just not in the mood to deal with all of that so for safety i'm just putting some powder under here not enough to bake but enough so that the pigment from the the pigment from the palette from the eyeshadows don't like stick well that we're being hopeful using some kind of blending brush any blending brush you have you're gonna want to go into the color called majesty right that would be this color right here and put that in the crease it's a nice soft buildable color to start with and you're not gonna see it a whole lot but it's there because this is not the hero color of this exercise. The hero color of this exercise is actually the deep, deep brown that goes in the outer corner, the outer lid. You just really wanna get this as blended as possible. You can be messy with it, it doesn't matter, because again, this is the transition shade, not the hero. Okay, it is there. I don't think it's showing up on camera, but it is there. And then you're going to want to take a flatter brush and take the color Chastity. That would be this brown color right here. You're going to want to take Chastity and on one side of your flat brush, pat like three times, one, two, three, pat three times, right? tap off the excess and then literally pat it into place do not smudge do not use windshield movements just tap 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 in keep doing that get it extra brown and you can just pat it even if the shape looked like, you see that line that's really harsh? 
that's okay because we'll blend it out with a smaller blending brush. But basically, you can also bring it up just a little bit, not too much, not overwhelmingly so, but so that it's there. You see it? You see where we're going? I want you to see it. You see it's already starting to fall out. I forgot to tap, tap, tap the excess off. But basically, this is what your eyes are gonna look like. And then, you're gonna take a smaller blending brush and smooth out those edges because no one likes a hectically sharp edge. And you wanna do that to give a smoke illusion, but it would be helpful if you added just a little bit of that chastity color so that you don't lose, so that you don't lose the pigment. You just wanna mute it a little bit and smooth it out. You see I'm making a mess right now because I didn't do that from the jump, so I'm gonna add that color back and do what I'm supposed to do properly. You just don't want any sharp edges in order for this pretty brown eye to flourish. All right, we've smoothed out those edges. We're gonna do the same on the other side. I mm, think I like it, I think I'm happy. I can get really persnickety about this and I don't wanna do that. One, because I'm filming in the middle of the night and two, because what would the point of that be? All right, now using I don't know, it's a bit flat, but kind of fluffy, this brush. I like this brush. You're gonna take milk, okay? It's the, la I don't even think you can see it on this palette. Yep, you can't see it, but it's called milk. I'm gonna try to put a lot of it on my brush. Hopefully you'll be able to see it that way. There's a bit of color, I think. I don't know, we'll see. And you're just gonna pat that on the inner corner. It's gonna come on really sharp looking, like you're gonna be looking at a lot of it and thinking, yee, maybe I put too much. It's okay. You can salvage what you've done. Cause you're still gonna blend. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm lazy. Maybe it's because I wanted this soft and not too like sharp but you really don't have to cut this crease it's okay you don't have to okay i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side right are you seeing the movement again you're gonna have to keep blending you're gonna have to be comfortable with blending i when i first did this i look was getting annoyed because I felt like I kept removing the color and then putting it on and removing it and putting it on. But in all honesty, I was doing what I was supposed to do. Where did that brush go? There we go. And again, like I said, you're gonna feel like you're removing it and putting it on and removing it and putting it on again. It's okay. As long as you make sure that you do remove enough and put back enough, <laughs> you'll be fine. All right, now you're basically blended. Using that same brush that I added powder to, I'm going to attempt to brush everything under my eyes away. I want to bring some definition to my nose. Okay, so I'm going back in with my matchstick, taking the tiniest blender I have and creating some definition. 
We highlight the bridge, we blend the bridge, and our little button. Now, it would be wise to begin gluing your lashes. It would be wise. So I'm just gonna handle lash things off camera. We'll talk about lashes in another video. But for now, while your lashes are drying, some eyeliner. Once you finish with all of that, right, just take the brush that you used to do the tight blending and run that along the bottom lash line, like so. You don't need to add new product. There's more than enough product that's on that brush already. I forgot blush. I like blush. Just a little bit though, not too much. I'm using a blush from Essence Cosmetics, but I'm not gonna bother showing it because I lost the cover, it broke, like it's hanging on to its last days. I'm not really highlighting with this look. I don't really care to do so. I don't feel like it. That's actually what I should say. I don't feel like it. And give me a second and my lashes will be on. Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take a very simple lip color. I've got a lip liner from LA Girl. And if you know me in real life, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I love an overdrawn lip. Alright, this color is... Chocolate. And then I'm going to take the color Runway and put it in the center. Anyway, this is the look. This is the look. This is what I played with sometime when I should have been sleeping. <laughs> But this is it. This is me. I enjoy this palette for the fact that it gives me my brownie shades, my orangey shades, my burnt tones. I appreciate that. Do I like the kickback? I already told you guys no. Do I care for the fallout? I already told you guys no. But they're not deal breakers to the degree where you should not buy the Hermosa Flor Cosmetics White Lily palette. I see they've got some other palettes. I'm going to test them out. I want to test them out. Let me not say I'm going to test them out. I want to test them out. But until I do, enjoy my other uploads. Because, you know, I'm me scenarates. This is my digital space. I'm here for enjoyment. All right. See you next time.